Hey guys, what's going on? This is Tom, Big Shoulders CrossFit, Strength Agenda Weightlifting. Today we are talking about meet attempts. I've been getting a couple questions here and there asking, you know, how do you plan your attempts? How do you set your openers? How do you get yourself or your lifters ready to go in the warm up room? Um, if you are one of my lifters, you have seen this card many times. Usually your name is up here, but I like to write everything out, snatch, clean, and jerk. Just a little bit of background on how I learned. Uh, a lot of people think Glenn Penley or Don McCauley are the ones that showed me how to count attempts, but in all actuality, it was Rob Blackwell. Little known fact, he coached me at my first Olympic weightlifting meet when I would join California Strength. Um, I think Glenn was out of town at a seminar or something like this, so Rob stepped in, and I just simply asked him, how are you doing this? And he was nice enough to sit down and explain to me what he was doing. Ever since, I've taken that and I've kind of tweaked it as I went along, but this is how I coach my lifters and myself when I'm at a meet and trying to get uh, you ready to go for that opening attempt. A um, couple of things uh, that I like to do is I like to write the opener up at the top. I don't write any attempts after that because all sorts of craziness can happen. But one thing I firmly believe in that I think every lifter should do is set that opener at something you know you can hit. It should not be something you wanna open at. It should be a lift that if I put that on the barbell any given training day, you should be able to hit it. Nine out of 10 times, 10 out of 10 times. Now obviously things happen, I get that. You miss an opener, nerves, whatever. But for the most part, that opener should be something that you can hit on a daily basis. So just for, even numbers sake, I just wrote 100 down in the snatch as that lifter's opener, all right? And uh, some people I've heard, I think Dave Fleming counts like in minutes before your attempt. Um, that's a little too complicated for my brain to understand. So I just, you, I just count attempts. The only different, uh, the, the difficult thing with this is you're constantly counting cars. Um, if you have been to a meet, your lifter or the lifters all competing in that session have their own cars, they have their attempts and everything like that. And you literally have to count from where you're at right now to the weight that's on the bar to when your lifter is coming in. So you have to go through, make sure you're constantly counting the attempts. Some people will move their attempts or they'll, they'll adjust their openers. Some people will miss and that's just, you have to repeat the attempt. Um, bottom line, you have to be paying attention to the cards if you're a coach, otherwise you're going to screw your lifter or yourself up while you're trying to get them ready. But what I like to do is I just count back. I tell them, you know, before I sit down with them, I say, what kind of jumps are you comfortable making? And I just write all their attempts down all the way down to the empty bar for time's sake. I only went down a couple of attempts but you get the idea. So about three attempts out should be a pretty routine lift. I wanna give you about three attempts out because it's roughly about two minutes or so, depending on how quickly the people go out there, how long they take the setup, whatever. Should be about two to three minutes from your last attempt to your opener. Um, so I just write three attempts out. I have this person taking 96 or 94. Now the reason I have two numbers there, um, nerves or something might have happened as you're warming up that you're just not feeling comfortable. So I want to make sure the athlete is as comfortable as possible and they don't feel like they're making a gigantic jump from that last attempt to the opener. So I want them to be comfortable. So I'll set it, like I'll give them like about a kilo or so wiggle room. I might even go up and adjust the opener, bring it down a little bit or bring it up. Um, some coaches don't really like when you're adjusting openers, a kilo or so. I don't care. I want my lifter to be, you know, comfortable and I want them to make the attempts. So I'm gonna do whatever I gotta to do to make sure they're in the best position to succeed. Uh, so like I said, this, the three attempts out, they're gonna take about 95, 96. And then for me, I just like simple math, so I simply just go back by three attempts, because again, it's about two, three minutes between attempts. Sometimes it's a little longer if people are missing or they're adjusting attempts or whatever, but usually you have a minute to take your attempt. So common sense, three attempts, three minutes. That's how I like to do things. So I just go back, then I jump back another maybe five kilos. Six attempts out, you're making another five kilo jump. So this lifter is taking 90. About nine attempts out, another five kilo jump. They're taking 85 kilos, about those nine attempts out. Go back another three, about 12 attempts out, they're taking 80 kilos. Certain lifters, they like to take bigger jumps. Certain lifters like to take smaller jumps. It all depends on the lifter. Me, myself, when I'm taking my earlier attempts, my first four or five attempts are gonna be 10 to 20 kilo jumps depending on the lift. So this lifter at about 15 attempts out, they're taking a 10 kilo jump, they're taking 70 kilos. So then it would, for, if this was me or somebody that is similar in my style slash you know, mentality, it would be 95, 90, 85, 80, 70, 
50 and then an empty barbell once or twice. That all just depends on the lifter, but I would just simply keep just going down by threes and I would be, you know, holding this card in my hand and I would be going back and forth and checking with the cards and checking with my lifter, seeing how they're feeling. Now, um, trouble. Sometimes things happen. Uh, you get a lot of time between attempts. I've had it a couple times in the back room where a lifter has literally had like 15 minutes between attempts. It happens. People miss. A lot of people miss. If a lot of people are opening at the same attempt, you just get like six misses in a row. It creates a log jam. So what do you do in that situation? Now, this is something I picked up from Travis Mash. I can't remember the fancy name for it, but you're essentially overloading the lift that you're about to take. What I'll have lifters do is I will take a pull heavier than the attempt they're about to go out there. Now, I don't really do a high pull or a comp. I don't know what you call it. Um, panda pull, whatever. I have them do a competition style pull where they're making contact, starting to pull under, but they're not actually doing the lift. I will have them do that first and it'll be heavier than the attempt they're about to go out there and take. Just something about the way the muscle memory works. You grab onto that barbell, you feel that, that heavier attempt, you do the pull, then you go out there, the barbell's lighter, and it doesn't feel like a, a burden trying to lift it. Um, another thing that I have implemented um, with not as much success, but I have had, seen other people uh, have some success, is they drop down maybe to the attempt they took around that nine to six attempt out range and they power snatch it or they power clean it. Um, I was a horrible power snatcher and power cleaner when I lifted um, competitively. So that usually messed me up mentally more than anything. For me personally, the, the heavier pull did way better for my mentality and just my overall feeling into me than trying to power snatch or power clean something. Um, so that's just me. Again, every lifter is different. Bottom line, if you're a coach and you, you're serious about your athlete progressing, you should know what's going to work for them. You should know what's not going to work for them. And you should be constantly communicating with them leading up to the meet, Co tracking their attempts, seeing what kind of jumps they're making. Talk to them. How are they feeling? Are they comfortable making this sort of a jump? Are they not comfortable making this sort of a jump? Talk to your athlete, understand what works best for them. And that way you're going to set them up for the, you know, the best chance of success. I'm not going to really go over the clean and jerk. I wrote it out. Similar philosophy. I still use the three, six, nine, 12, 15, et cetera, all the way down. Um, the better the lifter is, the more attempts they're going to have and the more you have to pay attention. The, the, the less experienced the lifter is, they may only have nine attempts before they open up. Then you have to include the clock in there and you get, should be getting a 10 minute clock before the session starts. So use that as well. I usually will pace about two minutes out for attempts as well. So with a 10 minute clock, you get five attempts in there. Plus if you're nine attempts out, that's your 16 attempts and you kind of play it through there. If you guys have any questions about how to set up your attempts or anything like that, comment below or find me on social media and ask away. Be more than happy to help you guys. This works for me and my lifters. Hopefully you can take something out of this and it will help you and your lifters. All right. Till next time. Take care guys.